Hey guys, and welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption. Um, off camera, uh, I did just complete the next survive. Um, was it survivalist? Yeah, the next survivalist challenge. So uh, I ran around and collected the. Um, I can't remember what the plants were now, uh, but I went around and I collected all those. It took me like an hour almost to do that which i thought was insane but you know we're up to rank six now and we have to collect uh, hummingbird sage now uh we can only find that in tall trees uh we are nowhere near well, actually okay well we can't get there yet but we're not exactly nowhere near being able to do so anyway let's go see what this woman has capture and kill the thief right we're not going to capture it. We're not going to kill this guy. You know what? We'll kill this guy, actually. What are we talking about? Saves us dragging his ass all the way in. That's how we do it in Mexico. Because uh, I can't be asked to... Oh, right. He's got to loot his ass and steal his corpse. Steal his dirty corpse money. That's fine. And our poncho's getting wet. He, don't... he stole like $67. Dude, lose your life for $67. That's just... Well, that's unfortunate, should we say. Hey, I love... I persuaded him to give the money back. Muchas gracias. You can have some of the money for your head, senor. Oh, thank you. How much you let me keep out of that? Alright, so... Shanshi leaves, lets us keep, like, half of it? That's not bad. I'm not sure if you actually get more money um, for taking the guy back. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go to the general store quickly because um, I was going to go to the general store and do all our selling off camera. However, that woman ran up to me. So I thought I would uh, leave that in. Let's have a little talk to the doctor. Ah, we could buy some medicine. We do have a lot of money. Butterfly weed. That's what... Um... Right, let's get rid of all of that. I know you get more money if we sell it, like, in America. But, you know, we're, we're pretty... We're, we're pretty alright. <laughs> we're fine. I can't be asked to, like, hold on to this stuff for, like, a little bit extra money. I think you get, like, double the money, which... You know, not to be sniffed at, but... We don't need it. You know, killing these wolves, I'm pretty sure I always say it, but it's really, really lucrative. Like, ooh, damn. Um, I don't really think there's a massive amount of point in buying medicine. I don't know how many we have. Completely restores your health. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll buy them more, I suppose. All right, we can only actually hold, like, three of them. That's fine. Horse pills, don't see the point. Wasted time. There's a lot more of that kind of stuff in the second game. It's, like, to be honest with you, it's borderline overwhelming when you first start. Uh, let's go and have a little look in the Pistolero. Hello, friend. Uh, I guess... Right, we will buy that. Right, this is actually going to show us all the hideouts, which is quite useful. Um, can't buy the survivalist map, unfortunately. And I'm guessing... We already have all the guns. Alright, that's fine. Fair news, buddy. I was hoping for some kind of like automatic grenade launcher, but, you know. Or maybe... Uh, Pulse rifle. But, nope. Sadly not. Okay, anyway, let's go see um, our friend up here, shall we? Um, I guess we just go up here. This place is a little bit confusing. Navigate, sort of. Aha! There we go. Alright, DeSanta, what have you got for me now? What kind of wanton murder 
Empty promises, eh? Mr. Merson, ride with us. We've been betrayed. What's happened? If there's no time, ride with us. Then we'll find the main you seek. Come. Just a come we're waiting for mm. us. Come. We must come. All right. Can't help but uh, notice this dude continuously offers to find these guys for us, What's but. Alright, so we're gonna go kill them all, eh? Well, murder is kind of what we do, to be fair. It's kind of our business, and we are the head of our game, so. It is unfortunate that we are murdering innocent uh, men and women. Well, are they? Are they? It's only them that are saying they're innocent. And if I was guilty, I'd probably tell people I was innocent. I don't think he's going to tell us anything on the way. So we'll skip. Skip ahead to the destination. <laughs> I like that. I fell asleep. Oops. Sorry, bit of a dull mission, mate. You know. Stay alert. Something doesn't feel right. Don't get that excited about murder anymore, considering, whoa, we, we commit so much of it. Double tap. There we are. See what I mean? Expert. Ooh. The bronies. I'll kill all of the banditos. Wait a minute. I kind of get the feeling that we're the banditos. It's definitely a power struggle going on. This doesn't seem like a very well-run organization, does it? So in that, there's a lot of fancy looking tents here. Uh, we'll go for the repeat. Actually, mm, I like the bolt action, I'll be honest. It doesn't have a very high magazine, but We have men's work to do, eh? Yeah, sit down. I can pencil pusher. Ooh, rolling block rifle. Pretty sure we already had the rolling block, but that's fine. Ooh, look at this mood rain. Oof. Sending innocents to their death. One heavy round at a time. Ooh, you sneaky sausage. -y. There will be no escaping from my justice today. Son of a bitch. There we go. You guys make this too easy. Come on, let's see that head of yours. You are undone again by wearing a silly hat. You kind of stick out. Come on. Oof. And you? Who's next? Oh, we're done. I think we're done. God damn, we really don't have many rounds for our automatic, do we? That's fine. I'm sure we're about to loot a whole. Whoa! -ho -ho. Things are getting spicy here. Ah! We have some soldiers to loot their corpses. I think we will. Oh, someone's on fire. That's okay. 
As long as it's not us that are on fire, we can live with that. <laughs> he's burning. I bet that rain feels quite nice though. Oh, okay, he's finished burning. He's back up. <laughs> oh, sir. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. He had his, his big break miraculously. You know, the flames went out. He was excited. Maybe he would survive this day, but no. But no. John Marston had other plans. There's just one Pendeco hiding. We'll lead it then. You lead an attack from the front, jackass. It's what happens when you uh, don't send the men out to fight, I guess. I am fighting, dude. I'm fighting poverty right now. My own poverty, admittedly. But poverty nonetheless. Also, you're not doing a lot of fighting hiding behind those barrels, guys. Yeah, I'm not shooting because there's nothing to shoot at. Now there are people to shoot at. See? There we go. Not sure why the other guys aren't moving up. It definitely should be. Here they are. Jesus. Better late than, nev than never. Taking a leaf out of the Americans book. All right. We'll have you. We'll have you. Don't mind me, fellas. Sorry, dude. No more burritos for you. Okay. Yeah, we've got a really nice burrito place, actually. Well, ha! It used to be a really nice burrito place. Ooh, in the gut. Oh. Uh, in my town. I'm kind of thinking about one now. I guess when you're in Mexico, you think about Mexican food. Is that how it works? Maybe. Right, anyway. There's more murdering to be done. Do we have... Uh, it's unfortunate. We got the Schofield revolver. We use that one. It is better, I believe. You take the snipers. We can hold up the snipers, eh? Well, now you're speaking my language. Right, come on, John. Ooh. I don't think he was a sniper. Now, somewhere there should be a sniper rifle. Nope. Oh, someone's on fire again. They like doing that. It's all that spicy Mexican food. Certainly sets parts of you on fire. That's for sure. I can't understand a word you're saying, friend. You also don't give me orders, sir. Kind of single-handedly, um, you're <laughs> providing you with sniper support here. Although I am rapidly running out of sniper rounds. What are we waiting for? Uh, you know what? He's okay. I wasn't going to bother looting him because he's not really worth our time. But I guess John. Oh God! Hello. <laughs> John had the hunger for pocket loot. Or should I say corpse loot? You know John, if he hasn't had his hands in a dead man's pocket for a few hours, he gets a bit peculiar, you see. Ah, there's a rifle. Failed? What? That never happened before. And I looted everything. All right, fine. We will keep our stinking corpse fingers to ourselves then. All right. It skipped us on a bit by the look of things. Uh, I don't think these are women playing outlaw, John. Oh, we can't use dead eye. Unfortunately. 
Right, well. Let's send these guys onto the other side. He was shooting through the wall. It's clever. Must be those Mexican made walls. Alright. Oh, there's the rifle. Thank you. Alright. Let's get our rifle back out. Suppose we should probably not stay around looting corpses. He's probably going to throw a wobbly at us. Like, you're not murdering enough people, John. You're supposed to be murdering six people a second. Can we not shoot? There we go, right through the eyes. What's in your pockets, buddy? Oop, bullets. Ooh, ooh, that looked... That looked really, really painful. But then I'm guessing being shot is generally painful. Makes sense. Having anything enter your body that shouldn't be there is probably rather painful. There we go. Uh, we could get into Overwatch, I suppose. Shoot them! <laughs> oh, thank you for that advice there, fella. I was going to stand back and let them shoot me. Alright, how are we doing? Aha! Setting fires. Although, unfortunately, they're the boring sort of fires. The fires that don't burn people alive. Alright. Let's play whack-a-mole. Why not? Come up, there we go. <laughs> oh man, I love this rifle. Come up, let's see those heads. There we go. You, sir, were let down by your silly hat. Next. Ooh, he didn't have a hat. He still died. That guy didn't know where he was. Come on, friend. Ooh. Yeah, we better not fall behind because they'll whinge at us. Oof, God. Okay. I don't think we actually lost many of our guys. Though that looks like one. Still not convinced they're actually worth looting. But we do get a little bit of ammo for them. And ammo is a very valuable resource. See, personally, I think you should just loot everything by walking over their body. There we go. That will do nicely. And you can see the rest being executed in the background. Pretty rough. The best pleasures earth can give a man. I need some information, DeSanta. All in good time. Uh, my man and I will finish our business here and we can talk back at Escalera. The next time I see you, I need some answers, Captain. <laughs> Go get drunk! Go get a woman! Enjoy life! It's a beautiful struggle! <laughs> <laughs> that guy is definitely unhinged. Go get drunk, go get a woman. Um, kind of just <laughs> like to kill the fella I'm after and then go back to my family, but... <sighs> Whatever, I guess. You can definitely see why these people don't uh, like the government around here. Okay, so, let's, 
five finger fillet. So I'm guessing we can't ah Funny Man. We'll be the judge of that. Okay, now also up and around here somewhere there is another was arm wrestling there. There is another um question mark person that we can mess around with. Uh I think we've got one more mission left for him, so let's go do his final mission. Can we make a camp? and quick travel um all right from roads and water you would have thought water would be a good place to you know oh hello look if we could just there we go kind of glitch around there midnight what's in the box i'm guessing it's just ammo no money 18 bucks I mean, sure, I suppose. You know, I would rather have 18 bucks in my pocket than no money in my pocket. So there's that. Alright, let's get out of here. Really? Okay, well, we are kind of going in the wrong direction, but that doesn't matter as long as we can use our campsite. Huzzah! Now, we need to go travel to destination. We want to go to... I forget what the place is called now. I know this um, translates as 10 crowns or something. Uh, I think this place translates to lost. Right. Let's go. Because we haven't murdered an innocent person for a few minutes. And that's quite frankly unacceptable. Okay, so Diaz. I'm pretty sure. Le yeah, I'm pretty sure this is his last mission that we have to do for this guy. I wonder if he's going to give us the answers we seek. What do you reckon? You going to place your bets? Is he talking about the devil's lettuce? <laughs> oh, I love calling it the devil's lettuce. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> the devil's lettuce. All right. We're lost again. I really hate this town. I mean, it looks cool, but when you're like thick like me <laughs> look where you're going pretty sure we ran into him and we can't get through we can't get through that door for some reason <laughs> look where you're going as we shoulder barge into him and completely like break every bone in his body <laughs> poor guy is just trying to have a nap a siesta yes where the fuck Right, we need to go through that bridge there. God damn it. This town is a nightmare. This wouldn't fly in America. We really... Okay. We really... So... <laughs> no. <laughs> you ain't there all there today, John. I'm not all there most days, to be fair. There we go. That's what we're looking for, I think. Yeah, he's having difficulties getting through doors. Mexican Caesar. Looks like we get to be on a Gatling gun again. Dale, que 
Nadie te está obligando a hacer nada. Solamente quiero que animes al hombre que va a salvar a tu padre. ¿Tú quieres a tu padre, cierto que sí, linda? What's going on here, Captain DeSanna? Just a little recruitment. Nothing for you to be concerned about. You boys using women soldiers now? Our customs are none of your concern. Santa Mariconcito, me encontraste algunas chicas. Ay, mamacita, ¿dónde has estado toda mi vida? Ve, ve, mujeres. Ay, me gusta. It's too patriots were keen to make your acquaintance, the coronel. Fantastic. I love patriots. Ah, hey, Sanka Marston, you here to fight the war? At least I'll make a patriot of you yet. I hope so. Any word of those men? Oh, yes. I heard they were riding with Reyes. I wanted to talk to you about it. Uh, the Santo, uh, hable con él. Tell him what I wanted. <laughs> His Excellency, El Coronel, would like to employ you in escorting a train down rebel country. The job is dangerous. But you'll have the honor of... <laughs> Another patriot? Of knowing that you serve Mexico in her fight against forces <laughs> that would destroy our society. How much you offer? 20,000 pesos. And information as to the whereabouts of Javier Escuella. Okay, then. Mexico loves you, Mr. Martin. She has a funny way of showing it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that man is the picture of health. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hope we get to kill all these guys. Uh, I actually honestly can't remember. Right, well. <laughs> Look at that dude on the back. <laughs> so it looks like it is me and you again, gringo. And there was me, thinking my dance card was full. What do you mean? Just that it's a pleasure to see such a noble patriot at work. Your sarcasm is childish and pathetic. This is an important assignment. Our orders are to deliver these munitions to Chuparosa. They will help to finally crush the rebels. I hate to break it to you, Captain, but I think you're going to need a lot more than this. I know. Most of the supplies are already in Chuparosa. We will deliver them all by train to our base camp in Yes Corona. Our forces are close to establishing control in that region. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Why didn't the Santa come with us? Why do you think? Because he is hardly a soldier. I'm sure he has other important business, like mailing letters and sweeping floors and flirting with barbies. <laughs> he fought with you to defend that pathetic little errand boy. I did not see him fight. Without me, we would have lost the battle. He knows um. less than nothing on how to lead men. Yet he's the colonel's second in command. That is a good job. You are a funny man, gringo. <laughs> he sometimes licks the colonel's boots and plays with his waiter friend. That is all. I am again this brazo derecho, his right arm. I am one of the few men he respects. Is that right? You and him have something special, do you? The colonel needs a maid, a woman he cannot fuck. Is Santa Liz that woman? <laughs> uh, good God. The battle of Torquemada was hard, but the Soro de Azul, that was fun. Am I right, gringo? Fun? Burning people's homes, killing innocent people? That's your idea of fun? When a woman picks up a rifle, when a child picks up a rifle, they become soldiers. Those are the rules of war. They ain't my rules. Oof. Yeah. Does it seem quiet to you? I don't know. You tell me. We have not seen a single rebel yet. I'd say that's a good thing, wouldn't you? I mean, I guess if someone's pointing a gun at you, you don't really... You're not going to sit there and wait for them to shoot you. Well, this is bad. Oop. Yeah, we're not going to be talking them out of it, John. We're going to be using plenty of bullets. Murdering more innocent people. Oh, 
Oof. Well, we're certainly thinning the numbers, or you would think. Yeah, these missions definitely do you kind of make you feel dirty. I don't know. This doesn't feel right to me. We're on our way to escort a train through rebel held country. An ambush feels about right to me. Soldado! Get it! Well squadron! Somos pruebas recrutas, Capitan! Es nuestra primera asignación! I knew I had not seen these men before. They are new recruits! Escalera! People have been talking about the rebels planning a large attack. If these supplies are so important, why have we been given so few soldiers? Mismanagement? Don't ask me. You're the captain. I thought you were supposed to be fearless. I am fearless, but not brainless. There is something wrong. I feel it. Maybe you just need to take a piss or something. The colonel told me that the Santa had praised my actions at Torquemada and called me a hero. He asked for me to be given this important assignment. Hmm. Why would he do that? The cabrón hates me. Cause yeah, but doesn't everybody hate you? Maybe we. Are you not getting the feeling that we've been set up? It seems to be pretty obvious to me. If all the supplies are already loaded up to where they need to be. And we've been given a token amount of surprise. No men. Hmm. I guess we are acceptable losses. That dude in the back, he's so chill, man. He's probably had his burrito. Loaded with the devil's lettuce. Belt is full of weapons. Which is your favorite for attacking a man? You ain't right in the head, Captain. Do you want to know what mine is? Not particularly. True. We are close to Chuparosa now. I still have a bad feeling about this. Tell me, why are you here? What did they promise you? 20,000 pesos in Javier Escuela. That is a lot of promises. Do you know where Escuela is? You think I am going to tell you that before you have fulfilled your obligations? Do not take me for a fool. I've given you no reason not to trust me. You must understand why we are suspicious of you. Most American vigilantes come here to help the rebels. It is strange you have chosen to work for the army. I'm not working for you. How many times do I have to say this? Call it what you want, gringo. We are exchanging favors then. I ain't seen many favors come my way yet. Abraham Reyes is trying hard to recruit gringos to fight for him. His propaganda is everywhere. He promises women, gold, and, of course, you come. Money and the chance to interfere in business that is not your own. How can any American resist? <laughs> I've done everything you've asked of me. If Belinde doesn't give me a Escuela and Williamson after this, I think it's best I go after the rebels directly. Is that a threat? Be warned. You are only alive right now because of me. Is that right? Here we are at last. I'm pretty sure we're being set up, friend. It certainly feels that way. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I hate to do this halfway through a mission, but we are on 35 minutes, and, uh, yeah, my internet is way too slow to be uploading longer than, like, 30 minute videos at the moment, so uh, I'm going to cut this one off here, and, uh, I will see you straight there in a second.